Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about the Atlantic hurricane season right now, and going through every single system that's in the Atlantic right now. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the National Hurricane Center's website. You see there's multiple systems in the Atlantic with multiple disturbances. We'll go through the disturbances really quickly first. There is a disturbance off the coast of Mexico there that has a 20% chance of formation through five days. And it is not expected to develop, but there is a small chance it does and potentially impact Mexico. Another disturbance off the coast of Africa that will be another one to watch for potential U.S. impacts has a 30% chance of formation through five days. That chance is expected to rapidly increase as it moves over the ocean. This disturbance has a 70% chance of formation through five days and 70 through 48 hours. It is not expected to be long-lived and is expected to start weakening after strong upper-level winds and colder waters inhibit development Tuesday. Going into each system, we'll start off with Sally. This is the comb for Sally. You can see it's expected to strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane before landfall in Louisiana, before rapidly weakening into a tropical depression into Mississippi through South Carolina. Evacuation orders are underway, and if you are in a mandatory evacuation, get out. The system will be producing life-threatening storm surge and may stall out over Louisiana, dropping over two feet of rain. This is the current rainfall forecast from Sally. You see the dark purple there is 20 plus inches and the red is 10 to 15 inches. Very widespread, very heavy rain. Significant flash flooding is expected. This is the forecasted storm surge from Sally. You can see it peaks around 7 to 11 feet and you can see the other numbers around the area as low as 1 to 3 feet in Florida. These are tropical storm wind force speed probabilities for Sally. You can see the dark purple there is 90 plus percent, and the dark green there is 5 to 10 percent chance to see tropical storm force winds. This is intensity guidance for Sally. You can see most models have it becoming a hurricane. It will most likely become a hurricane. Only one has it going into category two, which I think is reasonable. I think there is still a small chance we could reach low end category two status from Sally. But this system will be devastating, whether it's a high-end Category 1 or a low-end Category 2. It makes little to no difference. These are all the potential passes Sally could take. You can see they have it kind of nailed down. There is some spread between the landfall in Louisiana and the landfall in the extreme western Florida panhandle, as the models have it going northeast through Georgia and into the Carolinas. This is forecasted precipitation from Sally in the southeast. You can see numbers greater than 15 inches from Louisiana, Mississippi, and to parts of Alabama. There is a very strong possibility we could see areas get over 20 inches of rain, over 2 feet of rain as, as well. Sally is expected to bring very dangerous storm surge and very significant flash flooding across much of the southeast. Moving along to the Kona Paulette, which is likely to become a Category 3 major hurricane and impact little to no land besides Bermuda. Bermuda is taking a direct hit from the system as a Category 1 to 2 hurricane. Devastation is expected in Bermuda as high-end hurricane force winds are expected along with flash flooding. The storm is expected to weaken into a tropical storm around Thursday to Friday. These are tropical storm force wind speed probabilities. Same colors as before, 90 plus percent in that dark purple and five to 10 in that dark green. This is intensity guidance for Paulette, soon to be major hurricane Paulette. Most have it peaking as a category three major hurricane, which is what is forecasted by the National Hurricane Center. And then it has a weakening trend after it peaks as a major hurricane, affecting little to no land afterwards. These are the potential paths Paulette could take. Very nailed down until the last second where some models have it continuing straight while some have it curving back south. This is Tropical Depression 20, soon to be Tropical Storm and Major Hurricane Teddy. This system has a shot to become a Category 4 or 5 hurricane as it is expected 
to stay out to sea. There is a small possibility the system curves west and potentially impacts the Caribbean islands, which will be a trend we need to watch for, though it is unlikely. The system is forecasted to peak as a Category 3 major hurricane. I expect a potential Category 4 or 5 major hurricane. This is intensity guidance for soon to be Teddy. There's a ton of spread. It is forecasted to become a major hurricane by the National Hurricane Center, which I think is very reasonable with a shot at Category 4 or 5 status. Most models have it becoming at least a Category 1 hurricane, with many going into major hurricane status, Category 3 plus, and you can see some in that Category 4 as well. These are potential paths it could take. You can see most models have it going far northeast with one small outlier. There, like I said, there is a very small chance the system could curve a little more west and potentially impact the Caribbean islands. Little to no U.S. impact is expected from potential Teddy, but we will still have to watch closely. That's your trusted weather forecast going over all the disturbances in the Atlantic. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.